Good God, I am not a suspicious person and I love Friday the 13th. But I literally just picked up the thing that I'm filming with today and I just knocked over my dry shampoo, which just sprayed everywhere. And a can of Diet Coke, which just flew up in my face. I thought it was empty, but it was not. <laughs> um, anyway, happy Friday the 13th. I hope you are having a luckier day than me. Uh, my day is kind of mixed. Um... I've literally, okay, now as usual as I filmed this video, just came in the door and saw an awesome parcel waiting for me on the door as I came in. Um, I was going to do my pink parcel unboxing. I know I would usually have that up by now, but it's not here. It's late, which is quite ironic since it's a period subscription box and it is late. Anyway, um, so I was planning on filming that this week, but it's not here. So, I mean, if it's not here by tomorrow, I'll have to phone him and be like, where is it? Pardon me. Um, but I have an, if not more exciting video to share with you all today. I, something amazing came in the post, as you probably tell by the title. I have my Lime Crime Polly Pocket palette has arrived. It is still in its packet. Um, cover up, there we go. Uh, it came from Cult Beauty, is where I ordered mine from. I will put their details down below and a link to the palettes. These palettes come in three different types. There is a yellow one, a blue one, and a pink one. And I ordered the yellow one. And they all come with different colours. Um, I can't quite remember them off the top of my head. I will try and put in screenshots at the end of this video um, of them. If not, I will definitely link them all below. So if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I'm gonna in introduce you. I am Tash McZombie. Um, I do different videos. My last video was a palette video. It was the Storybook Cosmetics Charlie and the Chocolate Factory palette, um, which I reviewed with Ivy, my daughter. So you will kind of see there is a bit of a theme. I like fun, gimmicky, if you could call it gimmicky, limited edition makeup, especially to do with my childhood. I'm currently waiting on the ColourPop Cosmetics My Little Pony makeup range to arrive and I'm definitely doing a video on that. So if you want to see that video and check out my Charlie and the Chocolate Factory video, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. I do makeup videos. I do unboxings, taste testing of food, just general um, hauls, you name it. I do it. My daughter films videos with me too. So it would mean the world if you hit that subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up. And I, this introduction is already free and a bit minutes long. That is ridiculous. Let you, you you're here because you want to see the palette. <laughs> Not me warbling on. Anyway, let's get into this palette. Okay, so I've removed the outer packaging, the grey bag it came in, and then it also further came wrapped in lots of cardboard. So again, I ordered mine off of Cult Beauty, who I think I've ordered from them before, but this got here really quick and they were really easy to order from as well. So it comes even further wrapped in this beautiful black tissue paper. So let's open it up. Oh, this is so exciting! Oh, okay. I ordered the pink one. I... Yeah, that's right. Okay, I thought I ordered the yellow one, but I actually ordered the pink one. So it comes in this bubble wrap. So it comes really well packaged. You know, it's not going to get damaged in the post. Um, because it was just posted for my letterbox, so it definitely did fit. Um, oh my god. Sorry, I'm going to be really high pitched for a lot of this video. So here we have it here. This is how it looks. So it comes in this plastic packaging, which is how Polly Pockets used to arrive. Um, but they used to be open when they came sometimes, but Polly Pockets did used to come in like plastic casing. And then you have all the colours and everything on the back. So I got mine in Sugar Plum, which is the pink one, which I swore I ordered the yellow one. Maybe not. Maybe I was debating between pink and yellow. Um, so I don't really like the colour yellow. Um, but my favourite Polly Pocket growing up was pink. And if you watched my vintage toy unboxing you'll know that the Polly Pocket I have currently is also pink so this is it here it is 
really like sturdy plastic it looks just like a Polly Pocket so it is a square we have the beautiful pink bow and then in what would be the Polly Pocket kind of logo it does say lime crime if I haven't mentioned before this is a lime crime palette I've never owned anything from lime crime before nothing personal I know there's a bit of controversy around them I don't really get involved in all that stuff um and I've heard good things about them in general and I, I had to have this. So again, on the back it shows you the five shades that you get. And then here it is the front again. So let's open her up. So you'll see here it's like a kind of full clasp. And then obviously you've got the hinge. So all of this just screams. It just screams Polly Pocket. Um, and this is actually called the Pocket candy as it says there so let's open this up because i don't know if this is actually with collaboration with Polly pocket or if it is just heavily based so it just does pop open and then voila so you get a really pretty decent sized mirror and we remove this plastic here wow those pans are a lot bigger than i thought they were going to be to be honest i thought it was going to be a lot more plastic and smaller because you know it looks quite small on the back that I thought it was going to look like that but actually the pans on this are massive I'm really impressed so I'm going to swatch this middle shade here which is called icing this is a really beautiful shimmery white ohm oh, oh, oh my god <laughs> um wow I don't know if that will pick up very well on camera but that is this beautiful oh my god like silvery white shimmer it's gonna look amazing in the inner corner then i'm gonna swatch this shade here and this is called sugar and spice and this is a very these are this is yeah they're all kind of metallic -y. yeah they're all metallic so this is like a metallic brown oh like actually it was more burgundy as beautiful and then I'm going to switch this shade here which is a dual chrome and this is called fairy floss so this is definitely a dual chrome it has like pinks purple and like an almost green shift to it that is beautiful oh my god these are beautiful then I'm going to swatch this bottom shade here called candied plum Admittedly, this is the shade I'm most excited about. Oh. That is beautiful. That is like a really deep pink. And then I'm going to go in and swatch this last shade here, which is called Nutcracker, which is this almost like very dark, purpley, oh my god, metallic. Oh, that pigment. That is just one swipe. So there are all the shades there. So the white one, which is the middle, that is called Icing. Then next to that, we have Sugar and Spice, Fairy Floss, Candied Plum, and Nutcracker. Um, bah, 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 bah. Sugar and Spice and Nutcracker are more of like a kind of satiny metallic, if that makes sense. And the rest, um, Fairy Floss is a dual chrome where candied plum and icing are definitely very glittery. So I would say if you don't like glitter or metallics, this probably wouldn't be a palette for you. But if you do, it's amazing. I mean, oh my God, just look at them. Oh, they're so beautiful. So again, this is my one. So yes, yeah. this is the palette I have in Sugar Plum. Here's the back. So I'll just show you the packaging once more because the packaging is absolutely beautiful. It is so sturdy. It's a really thick plastic. It is simple to open <laughs> if you're not me. It does have a really good size mirror. And then you do have these beautiful five shades that come in these massive pans. And as I said, Fairy Floss here is a dual chrome icing. And Candied Plum are very kind of metallic sparkly where nutcracker and sugar and spice are more of like a kind of matte metallic if that makes sense like there's not as much glitter but they're definitely metallic 
So as I said, there is three palettes in this range. There is a blue one, a yellow one, and the pink one. This one is obviously very warm, mixed a bit with cool tone, I guess, but it's all very reds, browns, pinks. I know one of them has like a really beautiful light blue shade in it. So as I said, if I can screenshot the others, I will put them at the end and I will put a link. If not, I will put a link to all of them down below. As I said, I bought mine from Cult Beauty. I don't know where I'll sell them. I'm assuming you could probably get them off Line Crimes website itself. But yes, as I said, this is a pretty short, sweet video. Um, apologies if I seem a bit, ugh, it is so muggy. We got our boiler fixed yesterday because it kept cutting out and now our heating won't switch off, which is infuriating. My cats are fighting in the background and it is so warm. Um, but I wanted to film this unboxing and live swatching with you all to share it, to get really my first opinion. And honestly, I am blown away. Like, especially this top shade here is so pigmented. These are such unique colors i don't have these colors in my collection this is definitely a collector's piece if you are like me forever nostalgic to the 90s this is a palette for you as i said i will link above my willy wonka storybook cosmetics palette um and i do have a color pop haul coming up soon that's my little pony so if you're interested in this kind of nostalgic childhood inspired makeup please subscribe to my channel because i also do my vintage toy collection videos i did post part one up last week and i will be filming part two during the october break with ivy there will be more of an interactive kind of showing how some of the toys work a more kind of playing with the toys like she watches a lot of kids youtube where they do play with all the stuff so that's going to be a really fun video to film and yes if you have any suggestions please comment them down below i would love some feedback um and hopefully my next video before the toy one will be my pink parcel unboxing if it ever arrives I do apologise because I know I didn't upload it last month because the footage was terrible and I was really ill and I know I would usually have it up by now but it just hasn't arrived yet so I do apologise if you have been waiting for that video and if you liked that video, again, subscribe, please! Um, anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful and spooky Friday the 13th. I hope it is all lucky for you and you don't drop a can of juice all over you like I did today. Um, but yes, I hope you're all having a great time and I will see you all in my next one and thank you so much for watching. Bye!